Alright, so um, we're basically uh, I'm just going to run you through in video uh, how to patch clarity, um, how to patch a show that's not dissimilar to what's in the theatre, um, how to create some groups uh, and how to create some cues with some kind of unusual cue variations. Um, we'll see how we go for time. So these are the fixtures uh, here. So in a brand new uh, clarity file, we're going to have to patch our fixtures. Um, so we're going to patch the, the, the dimmer channels. Now we've got uh, 6, 7, 8... 9, 10, 11, plus a backlight. Uh, so there's 12. So there's only 12 uh, statics, but we need to operate on how many dimmers are on the show. Now, we might be on a touring gig and have a stack of six dimmers and might use half of them. You patch them all, so every dimmer channel available. CDU Theatre's got uh, three dimmers, and they're all 12 channels, so that's 36. So I'm going to start... Um, by patching 36 dimmer channels uh, in 8-bit and letting the uh, unit number just stay consecutive so there's my dimmer channels um, we've also got uh, some eye blasts uh, so these are a lead flood and they come up in clarity as eye blast uh, TR so I go IW blast TR in 8-bit we're going to patch four of them but we're going to patch them further up the line at DMX channel 401 we're going to make uh, the unit ID start where the DMX ID, just so just things are easy to remember. So what it means is the second light's DMX channel will be 404, um, but the unit ID will be 402 because it's just the next one. Now the other problem is that these, although they're three channel, um, they uh, have a gap between them, so we need an interval of four. So I'm just going to undo, actually I'm just going to delete those and do those again. So we'll do those once more. So we want to have a unit ID of 401, a channel of 401, and a custom interval of 4, and we want 4 of them. So this is what we have to do. Now if you had to patch them consecutively, they would have been uh, next to each other. Um, so I'll show you like this. So that would have been one light after the other. Now that won't work with these. You need that gap, which is the custom interval. So we've got those patched. We're going to patch some movers, which are Kanjos. Uh, so they're Kanjo 8 channel wash. And we want, let's go four of those. Um, and let's patch them at 301. So that's the unit ID, but the DMX channel is also 301. Um, patch those. And incidentally, if you're doing a theatre show off the back of this, don't follow my numbering. Um, we'll have that in the lighting schedule. So you need to be accurate with your numbering. So on top of that, we've got club pars. Now they're just generic uh, and they don't have an intensity channel. So we've got a generic LED and we're going RGBW in 8 bit. And we'll go four of those from 101. DMX channel 101 and they don't need a custom interval so there they are there so that's our four club pars we've got four canjos and four eye blasts and 36 dimmer channels so before we move on we need to actually patch a console uh, which means in the patching we've got to enable universe A now in this case we don't have a console so I'm going to leave that but you need to know that's there because you won't get the console working without it okay so over to the programmer to create some groups we're going to do uh, five Fresnels on the front bar. Um, we've patched for six, like, so sort of working on the, the assumption that there's six. Um, but yeah, there's only five uh, up there currently. So I'm just going to make a queue that's five Fresnels. Select them. Don't even wind them up. Just go to group, and this could be called uh, front stage wash. And it says it's group number five. It's arbitrary. Next one we'll go mid stage wash. We're leaving a gap on six, so it's seven, eight, and nine. That's mid stage wash. Record that group. Um, the next one we want probably the profiles. So it really depends on where they're patched, uh, where these going to show up. Um, I'm going to make them on seventeen and eighteen. So when we physically plug these in, they need to go back into 17, 18. So let's call this center special group. Um, the backlight should have been on 11, so it'd be, we got a three, we got another gap, and then 11. So put the backlight on dimmer channel 11. So that would be 
backlight. And we've still got some Hueys. Um, let's make them on Dimmer Channels 13, 14. And so they'll be called Flood. Now on top of that, uh, outside of statics, we've got some intelligence. So we'll make a, an easy recognizable group for all our uh, club pars. So we're just renaming this club par. Record. Um, we want a group for our canjos. Now we've got more lights here selected than we're supposed to have, so we need to make sure we don't do that. So we just have four lights selected. There should be canjos. These have an intensity channel. We've got a group. And we'll just call it the KJ group. And finally, we've got the eye blast. Now, eye blast one and two are on the front bar and are used for a house light. So I'm going to make that group called house. And eye blast three and four are on bar two and are a lead flood. So I'm going to make that lead flood. So now we've got our group set up. Um, when we select lights, we just go to our groups channel and we grab what we need. So we're going to make some cues now. So we'll do the static uh, cues first. Um, before I show you the cues, I just want to show you uh, the console layout. So this is the the console layout. On we've got front stage wash, mid stage wash, nothing on fader three, flood special, backlight, etc. So just put that over there. I'll attach these to the YouTube video. So now, now we've got to actually wind them up to make the cue because the cue is dependent on the intensity. So the first five, so we can just go, we can do it that way. We can just go to group and go front stage wash, wind up our front stage wash, go record. This is front stage wash. Same name, but this is a cue this time. I want to make it turn on when the fader goes up and we want to make it release where is this here? Uh, release intensity. F no. We're looking for the ignore release all button. Uh, ignore release all. So this is so we can release all the movers and colors on the console and the fader channels will stay up. So this is front stage wash. We're going to go record. And we're going to go mid stage wash. So mid stage wash. Same deal. Go and fader up, ignore release all, and record. Just clear your console out after you do these. Let's do the floods next. Now you might decide that the brightest you're ever going to have these fixtures is 60%. So you'll save your queue at 60% and when the fader goes up to 100, it's actually running at 60. So I'll just clear that flood queue out. Um, next you've got center special. So go to center special group, dial them up. Send a special again, go on fader up and ignore release all. Um, let's do backlight next. Make a cue for that. So that is backlight, ignore release all, and go on fader up. Um, we'll do. Uh, the club, the eye blasts first, actually. So let's go to house. Let's make them warm in white. And uh, actually, these are going on executor. So let's finish the phase. Let's just skip that for a minute. Let's come back to it. Let's go club pars. So we're going to go. This time we're doing a, a Q stack instead of a Q. So we're going to do club pars on. Let's say they're on, they're starting on red. So we go record, new queue, queue list, clubs. But this time we're going to name the actual queue in the stack. So they're red. Don't worry about any of these. They, they can stay the same. So we, but we're only going to, actually, we'll, we'll put, we'll build this into the queue. So we'll leave everything the same. So we've got red, do magenta second. And we'll do... So to, let's have a look at that color. It's a sort of bluey color. I just want to make it more tealy. Okay. Teal, and then 
let's do a straight blue. And let's do a straight green. We'll leave Y out of it. So this is a Q stack that you'll press play, and every time you press press play, it'll it'll uh, change color. Um, so on top of that, um, now we'll set up the console, and we'll come back to the Canjos. So we're going to go Control Booth, drop a console in. I manage. We're going to add a virtual console of a VX20. Um, it'll be no different, and the process will be no different. So bring this console over here. And now we'll drop our cues in. So front stage wash goes there, mid stage wash goes there, um, broken fader flood goes there, uh, center special goes there, backlight goes there, and then on fader seven we got club pass. And this is where we're going to get tricky with it. We're going to right click and duplicate the um, club pass. Let's just close that. We don't need that. Uh, make a copy of it. We're going to rename it. Call it Clubs Chase. And this one is manual and it's already there. This one we're going to actually put Chase forwards so that it's now Chase. And I'm even going to go so far as to remove the fade times out of it. Okay, so now that's a Chase. I'm going to put that chase on fader 8. So we'll check it works. Um, we should be able to see it changing. So basically we just go fader up and play and see they're stepping through there. And if we go to programmer we can see that color change there. So I'm just going to release all which will release everything that hasn't got ignore release all enabled. And then we're going to do the, we'll do the house lights next. So back into programmer, we're going to create a house light um, cube, but we're not going to burn a, a fader on it. We're going to put it on executor two. So these two are the house ones. We could also just have done that by group by going to house. We're going to go warm white. We'll start at zero, and we'll go record. Make a house queue. Name the first in the queue list off. Go record. Bring it up to 33. Name it 33%. Bring it up to 66-ish. Name that 66% and bring it up to 100. And name that 100%. So now we've got that built, we're going to drop it, instead of on a fader, we're going to drop it on an executor. Executor 2. And now you can step through. So those lights are now off. Now they're at 33. Now they're at 66. And now they're at 100. So that just gives us a bit more flexibility um, in terms of not wasting a fader. Um, we're going to do the lead floods next. So lead flood, there they are. We're going to do the same thing. So again, warm white and off. Sorry, off is first. Thirty three, sixty six, and a hundred or full. Let's call it full today. And we'll clear out the programmer and grab that queue and stick that. Execute two, and then we'll check that. So one, two, three, four. See what's happening in the programmer. Uh, oh, it's not reflective of the programmer because it's lead, but that's all right. I'm sure it works. Um, so we're almost done here. Um, we've also got the canjos to do, and so we're going to do uh, some chase, some movement, and some colors for the canjos. This is how we're going to do this differently. So grab our canjos. We're going to bring uh, the intensity up to 100, hit record, and call this cue list KJ Intensity. 
I'm going to even name the cue in the stack, intensity, and we're going to remove position, color, and beam. So this fader only does brightness. So we're going to record that and clear it. So now we're going to grab our KJ intensity cue and stick that on the last fader. We want KJ's brighter, softer, brighter, softer. Now we're going to put the other stuff here. So let's do just some random stuff with them. Grab the Canjos. Um, doesn't matter about the intensity. Let's go to palettes. Let's find a position preset. And we're going to just put movement on this one. So let's do a long wave. Let's go have a look in programmer. Make sure that those dots are moving. And this is going to be KJ move. This time we get rid of intensity, color, and beam. And let's do the, the first one, we're going to call it wave. Um, let's change that up a bit. Let's go from wave to can can. As it changes, it has. And do the same thing record um, can can over can. There, no intensity, no color, no beam, and record. And we'll do one more. Let's do uh, belly who. So, just make sure that's changed and it has. Again, record belly, no intensity, no color, no beam, record. So, we're going to clear that. Now, we're going to do the colors. So, again, Canjos, let's do uh, red. So we'll call this KJ Colors. On colors saving only and call this red. Then we'll go magenta. We'll just put three colors in and blue. Just color. And blue. And same deal. Blue. So so that is our Kanjo colors. So clear the programmer and now we set this up. So we're going to go program. We've got KJ movement on this button, KJ colors on this button. So this is how it works. Your Kanjos are on, they're off, you affect your brightness, move through the colors and pick any, any movement. So right now they should be up at 100 um, with the Ballyhoo and in blue. So they're in blue, they're moving, and I'm sure we can see from intensity, they're open. Uh, let's go to performance, sorry, control booth. I'm not sure they're at 100. Now there is one thing you have to do if you do this kind of setup. I mean, this is great because we can page up into multiple layers and use those executors everywhere just relying on only one fader for brightness. So it's a really powerful way to operate a lighting console and it's a very rock and roll way to operate a lighting console. Um, but you do have to check this. So the intensity cue should be highest takes precedence intensities. And what it says is that so long as that is the highest on the Kanjos, that will always take precedence. Have a play with it. Um, Basically, as long as you set up things in the options correctly, this will work. But there is a scenario where by engaging the color cue, you'll stop the intensity cue. So you need to play with those settings till that works. I'm pretty sure it's just the HTP function on the intensity fader. Um, and that's pretty much it.